Hi, I'm Shen, Head of Global Hardware at HTC Vive. We recently launched a new era of business VR with our Vive Focus 3 all-in-one headset. Vive Focus 3 redefines high-end business VR with 5K resolution, 90Hz refresh rate, real RGB subpixels, 120-degree field of view, perfectly distributed weight balance with a removable battery, and so much more. But rather than tell you about it, we thought it'd be better to show you with a Vive Focus 3 teardown. Before we start, I do have to warn you, this is not a repair guide, and you definitely should not try this yourself, as it will invalidate your warranty. We use incredibly precise machines to calibrate the headsets, and there is no way to replicate that precision by hand alone. Let's start with design. Comfort is hugely important in VR. If the weight distribution is off, or the feel of the strap is wrong, it becomes noticeable for the user very quickly. The first few minutes might be fine, but coming out of VR with a neck ache or your ears hurting is a bad experience. With our head strap design, it curves around the ears but maintains even pressure distribution to the face. Perfect for maximizing comfort and minimizing light bleed. At the back, you can see our patented quick release mechanism and a durable knob design for fine tuning comfort. We place the battery at the back as a counterweight. It's a 26.6 watt hour battery. With fast charge, you can go from zero to 50% in just 30 minutes. There's even an LED indicator showing you how much battery life is left. And what's more, you can swap the batteries and dropping in a new one takes seconds. You can see here we designed it with ergonomics in mind. The casing is curved so it can fit around your head. You should never disassemble the battery and that's a pretty good rule of thumb for batteries in general. So we'll use our CAD model here instead. We've taken a number of steps to ensure it is safe and comfortable. There's a graphite cooling sheet to keep the cells running at an optimal temperature and a metallic casing for impact resistance and better thermal transfer. We opted for a special battery chemistry of lithium polymer gel, designed with safety as our number one priority. The special gel chemistry allows for the cell itself to be more swelling resistant and leak resistant than the more standard batteries you'd find in a phone, which are lithium polymer liquid cells. Working our way forward on the frame of Vive Focus 3, you can see our new audio upgrades. We've got immersive audio with embedded speakers which sit off your head. They're directional, which ensures that you get a great audio experience, but also maintain environmental awareness. Again, perfect for demos and training sessions. With dual speakers on each side, we can really maximize the audio quality at higher volumes. For times when you need maximum privacy, we have a special audio mode which actually utilizes self-baffling physics to reduce sound leakage outside of the headset so anyone nearby can't hear clearly what you're hearing. And take a look at the gaskets. We designed these to be magnetic for fast and easy switching. The gasket is covered with waterproof polyurethane, making it super easy to wipe down after every use. The nose gasket has this dual petal design, which allows it to comfortably expand its size for a huge range of nose shapes and sizes, while minimizing light bleed. Vive Focus 3 has expandable memory via SD card, up to two terabytes. We place the slot behind the gasket so it's more secure while still being easily accessible. And coming all the way to the front of the headset before we dive inside. Now let's start with dismantling the cradle. I'll actually be dismantling a pre-production unit, which looks slightly different on the outside in terms of finish, but is pretty much the same on the inside. Taking out a few screws, we find the speaker cables embedded in the head strap, along with the power cables to the battery. If you look closely, you can see the cradle joint is white. That's a special polymer designed for strength. Removing a few more screws and we can carefully detach that cradle from the front of the headset. We can take off the speakers too. Now let's open up the main part of Vive Focus 3. First, we need to remove a few more screws. There are some hidden under this magnetic cover that's got a spare USB-C port for peripherals. Now we can remove the front of the headset. Running on the powerful Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2 platform, we worked closely with Qualcomm to have some specific optimizations for enhanced performance. And to maximize that performance potential, heat dissipation and thermal management is important. We've tackled that in several ways. We have airflow intake and output vents on the front of the headset and an active cooling fan, as well as a 15 watt copper heat pipe as part of the cooling system. The fan is designed with a brushless three phase motor which helps improve its efficiency and reduce vibration and noise. The active fan not only cools the XR2 chipset, but also the surrounding components like the VRMs or voltage regulator modules, which are there for power management. Removing a few ribbon cables and we can separate the rest of the housing from the internals. Also on the mainboard is eight gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. 
After detaching the connectors to the panels, we can now remove the main PCB. The frame is made from a magnesium alloy. It's 20% lighter and 500% stronger than traditional plastics, again, shaving off every bit of weight while making it very durable. We know that business VR headsets are often used for training sessions where dozens or even hundreds of people will use each headset in a day, so durability is critical. And an additional benefit of the magnesium alloy frame is that it helps dissipate the heat generated by the camera sensors. These cameras are custom designed with a global shutter sensor for accurate tracking with no rolling shutter wobble and a super high FOV lens. These cameras are used for our inside out tracking, which tracks both the headset and the controllers. Our tracking algorithm is stored securely, encrypted on the device, and in a way where it's mathematically impossible to reverse engineer it into an image. With the frame exposed, we get a clearer picture of the IPD mechanism. This allows users to adjust the distance between the lenses. Focus 3 has one of the highest IPD ranges of any headset, supporting 57 to 72 millimeters. We do a lot of research across the world so that our products are suitable for a wide range of different face shapes because we're all different. If iFocus 3 not only has a wide IPD, you can also comfortably wear glasses while using it. Looking at the housing, we get to see some of the circuitry on it, with the board for the USB-C and 3.5mm audio jack on the side, the volume keys, the headset button, the dual microphones, one on the bottom and the other on the top. These are designed for both echo and noise cancellation, and also the proximity sensor. After dismantling the frame further, you're left with the optical tube. The optics of any headset are critical, and that's no different here. We use robotic arms in the factory to help with the sub-millimeter precision needed for calibration. Here you can see our new dual element lens design and our 2.5K LCD screen. The tiny 1200 PPI 2.5K screen allows us to eliminate the screen door effect, where it's now impossible to see individual pixels while maintaining a slim form factor. The dual element lens design allows us to reach a 120 degree field of view, something unfeasible with a single lens design. So that's the Vive Focus 3 headset, packed with power, amazing design, and groundbreaking specs. Vive Focus 3 isn't just the headset itself. We've introduced new controllers. They're super lightweight at only 142 grams. Let's take a closer look inside. After dismantling the grip and the top, you can see the first of many capacitive sensors in the controller. This one will know when your thumb is parked on the resting area, along with the FPCs for the two ABXY buttons, AB or XY, depending on which hand. Removing a few more screws, and we can remove the upper housing of the controller. Unclipping a few connectors and a few more screws, and we can remove the tracking ring. dismantling the tracking ring, and we can find a central frame filled with infrared LEDs. These are what the cameras pick up to track the controller's position. We even added five on the inside to improve tracking performance. Going back to the main handle, we can remove the capacitive sensing joystick button and the rest of the upper assembly. Disconnecting and unscrewing the main board allows us to gently remove it, revealing the HD LRA haptic engine underneath. The upper part can be further dismantled where we remove the circuit board, leaving us with just the trigger mechanism. Hidden inside is this huge capacitive sensing FPC, which detects if your index finger is on it or not. And lastly, removing the main PCB on the handle reveals the battery inside. Enough for 15 hours of use and easily charged via the USB-C port. And that's the controller teardown. Thanks for watching this teardown of the new Vive Focus 3. As you can see, we've spent a lot of time honing every aspect of it to deliver the best possible experience and set a new benchmark for the new era of business VR.